types of investors in the stock market tier list? Oh, somebody's going to be personally fucking attacked by this. This is your uncle who watches one Meet Kevin video and is certain the world will be Mad Max in two days. He who the fuck is Meet Kevin? I keep hearing this name. Calls you approximately once a week. The conversation always has three parts. Him calling you on a Tuesday saying you need to sell everything because the global economy is about to crash. Higher. You saying you will to get him to shut the fuck up. Cold. And then him talking about his bunker in Minnesota while you eat a sandwich. Okay. His portfolio returns an average of negative 20% per year. Oh my God. Even though he wastes your time, talking to him always serves as a healthy reminder of who you're selling puts to. <laughs> great i wasn't expecting that oh that's right yeah you're, you're absolutely right it is gonna crash holy shit you should buy some puts let me sell them to you this guy buys one spy put and thinks he's michael burry he fantasizes about how one day he'll tell his kids that it wasn't easy betting against the american economy it makes sense that your schizophrenic QAnon supporting uncle would think the global economy is about to crash. There's no hope for that lost soul, but you'd have to be legitimately disabled to buy puts at this point, right? At least the bulls on Wall Street bets see some semblance of unrealized gains before their accounts are wiped out. These retards insist that everyone's wrong and then say, yeah, stocks are just so disconnected from reality. Yeah, they are. The same disconnected stocks that made everyone else a ton of money while you were crying about the Buffett indicator. This guy has 10 monitors, one for each negative percentages portfolio returns every year. Oh, G tier. Forget a real job. <laughs> the Wall Street bets degenerate and options day trader are similar in one way. They're the exact same person. Oh. The options day trader is the same guy who buys shirts from Lululemon. You could have bought them from Target and your life would still be equally pathetic. <laughs> Both the Wall Street bets to... <laughs> oh my God. We're just going down the list of people in the Discord by channel right now. Oh, that's great. Generate an options day trader lose money in the stock market. This guy just spent $10,000 to lose money. Your portfolio returns either 10,000% per year or negative 200% per year, which averages out to selling your car to pay down your margin balance per year. <laughs> His financial education is the wolf of Wall Street. His trades consist of three parts, buying into a pump and dump, losing the entire position, then wearing pink shorts and telling his dad to wire him more money. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to say who these are. <laughs> oh, God. Dividend paid out six dollars. The Theta Gang Wall Street Bets relationship goes like this. First, you find Wall Street Bets, where you quickly proceed to lose 50 to 75% of your savings. You then venture to Theta Gang, looking for rehabilitation, and make 50% of your money back in a few weeks. The day you start believing that you finally cracked investing, you lose 75% of your portfolio in a few hours. At this point, you realize no matter what strategy you choose, the market is efficient and you'll probably lose money long term. So you decide to make the responsible decision and return to Wall Street Bets because YOLOing options is more fun. Theta Gang is risk-defined, which is good for you, but it's also risk-defined, which is bad for the 10 million people that only care about your loss born. <laughs> you fucking lie. It's like some of you guys who get on every morning, and I told you guys, always clear your head, if you know what I mean, before the market opens. And you're like, Stocky, I will. Perfect. So you get up every morning and you look on Pornhub and XXX or whatever, and, and eventually you just get desensitized. So now what you do is at 8.30 a.m. before the morning call starts, you open up Discord, go to the lost porn section. Virgin Fund loser is like the 23-year-old TikTok influencer. 
Even your parents don't give a fuck about you. Your portfolio re- Oh no! The Virgin Fund loser is like the 23-year-old TikTok influencer. Even your parents don't give a fuck about oh. you. Your portfolio returns an average of 8% per year. 1% for each friend that no longer invites you to stuff. Oh. Ironically, the Virgin Fund loser and Wall Street Bets degenerate always end up in the same place, just for different reasons. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're like Donald Trump. In absolutely no way. Trump's a real estate billionaire. You're a loser with $500 in a glorified virgin fund. Trump ran a country. You run up $300 tabs at Applebee's. Trump owns Mar-a-Lago. You run a studio apartment with a guy who deals meth. <laughs> My read, people. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, God. Crypto investing is more of an investment of your time. Time spent explaining to your friends, family, or random people in the street that they should give a fuck about crypto. Crypto is A tier. A tier below the Virgin Fund loser. <laughs> oh, that's so perfect. Oh, that's so perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm not calling any of my mods out. The value investor's worst enemy is Elon Musk, which is surprising <laughs> being that you're both boring. He just has a multi-million dollar company. This guy got into investing roughly one month ago, oh, no. a week after he dropped out of high school. Oh no, it's our ATOS guy! His portfolio was made up of 95% unrealized losses, <laughs> but he's certain that silver's going to be the next big short squeeze. That's because he has the formula to recognize a short squeeze opportunity before anyone else. Some of the signals include a company that's unprofitable, has horrible fundamentals, a stale brand, and just in general is a terrible company. This makes him dump his life savings in the shares. <laughs> Where are my ZOM holders? We're at the top, guys. We're at the top. This is the guy who makes low-quality YouTube videos talking about financial stuff. He copies oh, every no. other finance YouTuber's video ideas oh, no. and makes clickbait titles to try to drive traffic to his channel. Oh. He claims to be good at trading options, but in reality, most of his positions are down 95% oh, with Jesus. no bid. In reality, he's just trying to get a Weeble sponsorship before he gets evicted. <laughs> That was perfect. Oh man, that made my day. Between Brock and that, this was the best day of the week. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh man. Oh. Oh, thank god. I needed that. Oh. Which one was me? I think we're all a little bit of all of that. Uh, if you don't think that none of that, if you think that none of that applied to you, you're lying to yourself. We're all a little bit in there. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh.